competition is tough. It's very mentally draining. It's an opportunity of a lifetime. High stress, drama, passion, and some amazing dishes. Blah, 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 blah. Top Chef Canada. The third season of Top Chef Canada is underway, and Daniel Hudson is the only competitor from Vancouver Island. That was a pretty crazy experience, you know, to, to see it on the TV for the past two shows and then actually be, you know, there and live in the experience. It was pretty surreal. She's a little frantic in the kitchen. Hudson filmed the segment back in the fall, and now he's watching it from his home in Duncan. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity, and to be put up against uh, some of the best chefs in the country. You know, it's sort of you know, good bragging rights if you win. He's been in the bottom three a couple of times, but he's still in it to win it. And while you may think it's just reality television, Hudson says all of it is real. Yeah, some of the challenges they threw at you were pretty obscure. And, you know, you got to think on your feet. It's, you know, go, go, go all the time. And... Yeah, you don't, you don't have much time for errors. And to stand in front of the judges, well, that's something he didn't particularly enjoy. That's probably the worst feeling ever, to stand up in front of them judges, because that stare that they give you right at the start, that just pierces right through your soul. But along with doing the show, this chef was renovating and opening his first restaurant, Hudson's on First. It's been a dream 12 years in the making. After working in various restaurants in Duncan, he bought this early 20th century house. A lot of renovations later, this is the beautiful result. Originally from England, Hudson moved to Canada in 2005. He's worked in various cities and towns, including Whistler and Vancouver. And I absolutely love being in the valley. You know, the, the community, the food scene, the wine scene. It's got everything you need here. Hudson is classically French trained and brings that along with other influences to his cooking. He uses pretty much everything local, including veggies, venison, other meats, and even wild herbs. He says he can't see himself doing anything else. You know, I, I live to cook, I don't cook to live. And we tried to get him to give us a little bit of a hint as to who wins or what happens. No, no, I'm sworn to secrecy, yeah. In Duncan, I'm Shetta Singh.